So there were some people that were interested in this and they wanted more detail and I was going too fast. And I agree because that was a YouTube short and they're short and I get rushed. So this is a part of a detector at Fermilab. Uh, it was the D0 detector and this was part of the calorimeter. So let me explain the whole thing starting from the beginning. So number one, I'm pretty sure that I was an undergraduate student working uh, there during the summer. I can't remember if I was a high school student or undergraduate student. That's probably an undergraduate student. And so as a, a student, my job was really just to help build this thing, which was super awesome to be able to go to Fermilab and work at Fermilab. Um, it, was, it was a good summer job, way better than working at Arby's. Nothing against Arby's, but you know. So what is a part of called calorimeter? Uh, so I drew some pictures here. The main idea is that uh, you have a collision of particles and it makes more particles and they shoot out in all directions. And you wanna know how, how much energy they have. So the idea is to circle the whole collision area with these uh, wedges. And these wedges have these fibers in them. Uh, and it has, I think they had three different lengths in there. So they had short fibers, medium range fibers, and long range fibers. And this is a combination of steel and lead. And so my job was to put these fibers in the lead grooves uh, and you had to inspect the fibers, to make sure they weren't cracked and all that stuff. So, so really just building it. It was, it was pretty fun. I mean, it was tedious work, but it was fun. So these are scintillating fiber optics. So that means that when a charged particle comes and hits it, it creates a little bit of light. And that light will travel down to the end of the tube. And this was connected to a photomultiplier tube. And so that would basically measure the amount of light it gets. So the idea is that if it's a high particle, high energy particle, it's gonna make it through a lot more lead and steel and get to the shorter fibers. So by measuring the amount of light and the shorter fibers versus the other longer medium range fibers, you can get a measure of the amount of energy that particle had. So this is one bundle of fibers of the same length. So here's two shorter ones. They come up here and they go to a photo detector, uh, a photomultiplier tube that measures very, very small amounts of light. And then the medium ones are combined and so forth. And so then these were all connected together, uh, polished down, uh, photomultiplier tube hooked onto the end, and then you could do that. So why do I have this if it should be in Fermilab? So we built this thing, it was the first one, and it's steel and lead, and it's maybe, I don't know, it's probably about a meter and a half long. It wasn't small. So they, they wanted to move it into the place to test it. And they picked it up with two straps right here, and, and they had the, 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 the room had a, a crane in it, I think. And they lifted it up, but for some reason, the way they lifted it, it was unstable. So they lifted it up and the whole thing went tilted and then it got even more unstable, tilted, tilted, boom, and just crashed on the floor. The whole thing was destroyed. So I took this, it broke off. I mean, but it is kind of cool. Um, it's cool to play with. You can, I like this end right here, let's see. And you can kind of see, you know, everyone likes to play with this. You can see the, the outer, uh, fibers are brighter. You can cover it up and it's just, it's just really cool. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Well, I like it. There you go. So scintillating fiber optics. Rhett worked at Fermilab as an undergraduate student. Experiment broke. Office. <laughs>